yesterday we uh, reinforced our forms because we're pouring concrete. Uh, just making sure everything's plumb and square. Making sure the columns are going to be straight as possible, uh, lined up to the outside of the building, and uh, just getting ready to pour concrete. So the structures you see behind me are pillars. Um, there are 16 of them, and uh, they're rebar, and uh, just build forms for them, wood forms. They go around them, you plumb those up, and then those forms is what's going to shape the concrete and uh, twist them with wire and uh, plumb and square them, pour concrete in forms. That's that. We've had a lot of difficulties getting certain material and whatnot, but all in all, it's been, it's been okay. Um, as Marines, just adapt and overcome with uh, what little wood, wood that we've had, we've made do. Um, pulling it from various parts of this to that. There's a lot of uh, just overcoming the situation. Uh, went back to the basics um, with the, old, uh, the way we do it is, is sand, uh, the actual cement mix, and rock. And it's all certain formulas that you do depending on your consistency of what you want. And so it's just knowing what kind of grade concrete you want and making it and uh, making it by hand. The money conditions, it slows down a little bit. Uh, safety reasons, you know, moving, we have a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of uh, trip hazards and whatnot. Just base things really, really slippery, and especially because our form's quite high off the ground, and it's kind of on a, on a hill, so we're always going up and down hills and whatnot. It's a little slippery, but we haven't had any instances yet of people getting hurt. It's, uh, you just have to always be vigilant of what you're doing. and. Uh, other than that, it hadn't slowed us really down too much, the weather. The Filipino Marines, um, very knowledgeable. They, uh, they do a lot of stuff, I guess you could say uh, old school, if you will. They, uh, they go back to the old days and uh, lining with, you know, measuring with wood and stuff like that, just really outdated stuff, but that's how they do it and it works out great for them, so it's good to uh, to get their knowledge and uh, all their understanding of, of how they do things. Most of them are older than us and uh, have a lot of years of experience building and doing such structures as this. It's really good to get some knowledge from uh, the Filipino seeds. They cook food for us every single day and uh, we get a little bit of liberty in the end, so we get to, after work, relax with them and actually and talk to them. So I think it's good for uh, just all our relations uh, between Americans and Filipinos. It's, it's, a good, it's a really good experience.